Today we're installing a Stinger keyless key switch on a club car 48 volt. Before we do anything, we're gonna turn the key switch to off, engage the parking brake, and put the cart into tow mode. First thing we're gonna do is remove our instrument panel and retain the hardware. For video purposes only, we're gonna take the instrument panel completely off the cart. Now what you're gonna do is you'll look on the back side of the key switch and you'll notice the four prongs that hold the key switch faceplate on. We're gonna pop these four prongs in so the faceplate comes off on the front side of the instrument panel. Now you'll notice a nut on the inside where the key switch is held in place. We're gonna use a one inch socket and back the nut off so we can pull the key switch away. Should allow the key switch to come out of the back side. Go ahead now and disconnect your blue and green wire from the back side of the key switch. You'll notice on the back side of your stinger, a nut and washer. Go ahead and completely remove those two. You can now insert it in through your instrument panel where we removed our key switch. On the back side, we're gonna put our washer on and then secure it with the nut. Make sure not to over tighten the plastic nut. You'll notice on the back side of the stinger, you have a green, blue, red, and a black spade connector. You're gonna simply match the blue and green up to the blue and green that we took off of the back side of our key switch. The blue is your switch side of the key switch. The green is your constant. You'll also see a red, and a black and white or black and yellow wire that is sitting behind your instrument panel. You're gonna simply match the black to the black and white or the black and yellow. And the red to the red. These two wires come from your main harness and should be attached to the same blue and green wires for your key switch. And they should be secured to the main harness along with the blue and green wires. Before you connect any wires to your Stinger, make sure that the battery pack is fully charged. Now we're gonna reattach our dash using the retained hardware from earlier. Each kit comes with a master code card. Be sure to keep this in a safe place because if you ever wanna change your four digit pin, you'll need this code. Make sure your cart's put back in the run mode. Then you're gonna use the four digits at the end of your master code to work your stinger. Put the four numbers in, hit start. You'll hear two beeps. Then you'll see the battery gauge light up. Now you're ready to use your golf cart. When you're finished, simply hit stop and the cart's off. If you would like to do a personal code, when the stinger is off, simply enter in your master code. While the LEDs are flashing, put in your new code. Four digits, you'll hear two beeps, and then hit start. Now your new four digit code will start and stop your cart. There's also a mobile app. Simply search Stinger Pro in your app store, download the app, and enter in your information. You're gonna to wanna to connect to the Bluetooth in the Stinger. Once you have the app pulled up, you'll simply connect to your Stinger. And now you can turn on and turn off your Stinger from your phone. You're now ready to use your Stinger keyless key switch.